Hello, today we are going to take a look at this absolutely beautiful uh, vintage, I deeply believe, Soviet uh, Russia spotlight. This is kind of device that was designed and intended to be used inside of vehicle. And I deeply believe it is like a, like a spotlight, like a searchlight. So if you've got like a patrol vehicle who drove into a parking lot and the officer is checking out the space so he can roll down his window, he can take it out and he can swap the space. So basically it will be working great in every situation that your headlights are not reaching out. So you are driving at night in woods, maybe you are hunting and you can roll down window, you can check out something that is happening on your sides. It is clearly not intended to be like a work light and that's because of length of this wire and as you can see it is barely enough to reach out from your center console where you've got the cigarette lighter socket next to the passenger or driver window. This is only the reach you can get, so this is not something that was intended to be used for repair in your engine or while changing your tire. Also here you can see like a grip for your finger, so that was definitely intended to be operated by hand. Here we've got element for hanging it out, but I would say it was most likely used with some sort of retention device so it can be hanging, you can pull it and it can retract. I believe it's called a retractor. And this is how it presents. Here we've got our switch under your thumb. We've got a lens protector. Here you've got the, I believe, company. If you know Russia, that you are welcome to try it out, to locate it. And it presents absolutely beautiful. Just take a look. That looks like a straight copy of a headlight, but in that plastic shell. And yes, it is a real glass. So it is a high quality device. I assume it's going to be extremely powerful, around 50 watt. And that looks like H4 bulb to me. But sadly it is burned, so we are going to be fixing it. And like with old vintage Russian devices, we should have zero problem in unscrewing it. Because everything there was meant to be repaired. Since it is a vintage stuff, then yes, we are going to be using a flathead screwdriver. You are not going to find a Phillips one. We need to remove that element and now we should be able to separate it. And this is how it presents. Absolutely beautiful, maybe except of those screw that are lacking metal inserts. But the whole rest, we've got like a rubber seal. If someone recognized if that was used in some of automotive applications, then please let me know. Here we've got something interesting. Yes, that's going to be connector for our H4. And let me remove that glass panel. So yes, it is a real glass. Here is the bulb. You can clearly see that is being born. Let me go like this. You squeeze those and now we should be removing our H4. And yes, indeed, that was born. Let me find replacement. I'm incorrect, this is not H4, this is H3, 55 watts at 12 volt. And just take a look what I managed to find. Uh, New old stock vintage made in Poland, H3, 12 volt, 55 watts. This is a vintage stuff, you could collect it. And of course we've got information that we should not 
handle it by the glass because it can crack and let's take a look yeah it we need to clean that up let's just take a look how nicely it was packed we've got like a french we've got a polish german and the english attention so how does it present yeah it presents absolutely beautiful this is what we want we've got a one-to-one -one replacement i clean it out and to be honest that looks like copper so it is a really high quality let me disconnect the we need more force we go like this and we are going to reconnect it and we manage to lock it in place we do not have heat shrink tubing but we've got that element so it's nicely protected we are not touching the valve we go like this we've got the cutout on those ends so we go like this get the drop inside and now it go like that absolutely beautiful and the negative is our chassis the device was clearly meant to last it was not designed to break it was designed in a way that allow you to swap every component by yourself you've got also access to the switch and yes it have got some Russian markings. I've got feeling that someone before me was trying to force entry because definitely I didn't break it. I was treating it with the respect it deserved. And let's try to... Let's try to join them together. And looks like we are going to get a great success. And we are ready to try it out. We have to attach that element. And let's see, we are going to grab by power bank with the cigarette lighter output. We've got 10 amp max, which is going to be fine. We hit on, we do not see it lighting. But let's switch and this is what you would like to see just take a look I've got all my studio lights on and this is 55 watts of power like a headlight in your hand in your fist just take a look at this absolutely beautiful so we've got a great fix Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.